Hi, everyone. It's Dr. Len Schwartz. Welcome back to the Cut the Yo-Yo podcast. This episode is for my doctors, professionals, business owners, and entrepreneurs out there who want their phone and inbox to keep on ringing. Because when the phone rings and email orders chime, business is good. When the phone doesn't ring and you're not generating more orders, you're in trouble. That's the epitome of the yo-yo. Ups and downs and ups and downs of business. It's time to cut the yo-yo. End the ups and downs and take your business out of the uncontrollable and into the predictable. So you never go a day without leads, referrals, or sales again. I'm Dr. Len Schwartz and today I'm going to share an interview I just did where I talked about three really important things. How to accelerate your lead to new client process how to become the go-to recognized expert in your area and how to generate an extra 10 to 20 or more new clients every year without spending a penny on paid advertising. It'll come up right after this. This is how we cut the yo-yo. What does every business owner want? Every business owner wants a dependable way to generate a steady flow of new business without paid advertising. So how do you generate massive exposure in your market, become the go-to expert in your area, and never go a day without leads, referrals, or sales again? Those are the questions, and this podcast will give you the answers. My name is Dr. Len Schwartz. It's time to cut the yo-yo. I think we're live. Hey, 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 Facebook world. Uh, this is uh, you seen here. Uh, I hope you're doing great. Day today is a special call or a special Facebook Schwartz. How are you doing, Alan? I'm doing fantastic. Thanks so much for having me. Well, thank you for coming on. Yeah. Um, and dude, uh, I've, uh, you know, it's been fantastic and inspiring uh, seeing your growth. So uh, thank you for uh, uh, honoring me and my friends here on Facebook uh, by coming on today's uh, call. Thanks so much. Uh, happy to be here for sure. Beautiful. So the reason why we're here today is because Dr. Uh, Len just released his book, Cut the Yo-Yo. Uh, you know, I love the title, Cut the Yo-Yo, uh, which includes not one, not two, but 52 no-cost uh, no cost new client generation campaigns uh, that are designed to generate leads, referrals, and sales every day. So I wanted to bring him on and do a deep dive on just a few of the strategies. We won't be able to do a deep dive on all 52 strategies, uh, but you can definitely go ahead and pick up his book. It's already on Amazon, uh, getting some great ratings. And you know, for anyone listening here, uh, what uh, Dr. Len has promised to share today is something that you can put immediately into action uh, to get leads, referrals, and sales right after this Facebook Live. Uh, so Dr. Len, why don't you tell me a little bit about the yo-yo. Yeah, so cut the yo-yo. I, I guess it's important to share the subhead with everybody, which is end the ups and downs of business. But you know, the cut the yo-yo mindset can really find its way into your life. So we gain weight, we lose weight. We make money, we lose money. We have good relationships, we have bad relationships. We grow our business, we need to grow our business. So cut the yo-yo is really a mindset about the way to live life and putting the right systems or campaigns or strategies or processes in place to help you eliminate the ups and downs in every area of your life. So that's how I, that's why I came up with the name Cut the Yo-Yo. And as it pertains to business, it's really about being able to consistently create demand for your products and services so that you can finally cut the yo-yo, end the ups and downs in your business and enjoy that consistent, steady flow of growth and income that I believe most business owners want. I love it. And I, I think it couldn't have come at a better time, you know, than this, uh, you know, pandemic and a lot of businesses are shutting down. Uh, we are, you know, we operate in the service industry in the facility service, uh, industry, you know, servicing restaurants, uh, schools, commercial kitchen, and it's been by the bucket, uh, businesses, unfortunately are shutting down. So I think now more than ever, focusing on cash flow stability and getting those referrals and getting those sales without adding to our payroll and without uh, increasing, you know, giving more money to Zuck or to Google and just re really doing grassroots, uh, guerrilla marketing, 
uh, you know, uh, strategies because when it comes to marketing, you know, there's no free marketing. You either spend your time or spend your money, whichever you have more of, right? And I think with the 52 strategies that you've got in the book, you kind of give a nice mix. If people have more time than money, uh, there's definitely a ton of these strategies and most of the strategies are geared towards, you know, putting more of your time and leveraging your time uh, and doing, you know, you know, we're not doing any cold calls, right? Um, but also there is, if you have a little bit of money too, you can use a little bit of your money and combine it and have that great hybrid going on. So I love it. So Dr. Len, why don't you, uh, can you give us like a couple of examples of no uh, cost, new client generation campaigns that are included in the book, just so that we can wrap our heads around uh, what you've got covered in there? Sure. Uh, and, you know, let me just preempt the, I'll share a couple of strategies, but to your point, this is almost what's old is new again. This has nothing to do with paid advertising. Like you said, these are no cost new client generation campaigns. And, and I also agree that it's come at a really important time because so many businesses are struggling. So I work with a lot of brick and mortar doctors, professionals, business owners, and I know a lot of people in your audience are also service providers and agency owners and et cetera. So you know, one of the things that I shared just the other day that went over really well that I'll share with all of you and is what I call the shopper effort. So many prospects call your office and want to ask questions about your products or your services, and they are in fact shopping around. What I have found to be true is that the overwhelming majority of people that answer the phone, they don't know how to answer the shoppers questions in a way that communicate why you're better slash different, why your products and services uh, are, are unique or better slash different than everybody else, why you're uniquely qualified, et cetera, so that the shopper feels compelled to say, what do I need to do next? Or can I schedule an appointment? Or what's the next step, et cetera. And so that's really an effort that's included in this book is train the people that are answering your phone, even if it's you, to know how to answer the questions of the shopper's questions in a way that clearly separate you from everyone else. So the, the prospect really is compelled to say, what's the next step? How do we get started? What do we do next? So that's just one quick and easy strategy that again, I, I have found nine out of 10 business owners do not train the per person answering the phone to answer those shopper questions perfectly. I love it. I was reading Jay Abraham's stuff. I'm knee deep into Jay and I revisit it every year. And one of his things that he's got is like, how good do you train like your salespeople because salespeople or a sales force is a multiplier of revenue, profit, um, and, cl and client base. And exactly. And one of the things that he was giving an example, like he just, he tested like 30 different ways of how to greet people into the door, coming into the store, 30 yeah. different ways to greet them. And he found that the most effective way to do that was to ask them what, what brought you, what, what ad brought you in today to uncover intent, what brought them in and that led to the sale immediately. So maybe so if you have like the list of top five objections or top 10 objections and you put it in an SOP in a checklist and you give it to your phone salespeople who are picking up the phone, even if they're customer support, customer support can be a revenue generating activity instead of an expense to Dr. Len's point. I love it. Yeah, um, I totally agree. In fact, one of the things I also talk in the, about in the book is how to turn your patients, your clients, or your customers into the best sales team you could never hire. And what's interesting is it all starts on the front end of the relationship with that patient, client, or customer knowing and understanding why you're uniquely qualified, why you're better slash different than everyone else, and why they can't find anyone else that can help them like you can. That turns your people into the best sales force you could never hire. Word of mouth, baby. Amen. So talking about word of mouth, um, you know, one of my favorite things about what you teach uh, is how to generate referrals without actually begging for it and feeling embarrassed or less than uh, when you ask for referrals, because referrals are some of your, some of the hottest buyers you can get. They ask less questions. They buy more often. Uh, they're easier to maintain and they refer other people, right? Those are the kind of the best, 
prospects to have. So can you give us examples? I know you cover it in depth in the book, but can you give us like an example of how to ask for referrals without actually uh, embarrassing ourselves or like coming across as needy? Yeah, I think most people feel as I do, which is it can get old really fast asking for referrals over and over again. And I'm all about nurturing and maximizing the relationship with your patient, client, or customer. So I came up with different ways to be able to stimulate referrals, as you said, without actually asking for them. And so one example would be, uh, let's say, for example, that you have your, I'll just pick somebody out, you're a chiropractor, and the chiropractor has a patient that had back pain, and six weeks later, that back pain is gone. Well, that person would say, and let, let's role play here, I would say, you see, uh, it's been six weeks since you started here. You had uh, excruciating back pain when you first started. Now it's gone. Can I ask you a question? And you'll say you would say yes. And I'd say I'm curious. Uh, do you have a, a friend or family member that is needless, needlessly suffering with back pain, but just doesn't know what to do, where to go, or who to trust? Um, or I could say, you know, there are a lot of my patients just like you that tell me that they have friends and family that also have back pain that just don't know what to do, where to go, or who to trust. Do you know people like that too? And by me asking you that sort of I'm curious question, that conversational question, uh, what I'm looking for is for you to say, yeah, you know, my cousin Bob, he's got back pain all the time. <laughs> and here's the good news. You already do know what to do. You already do know where to go. And you already do know who to trust, and that's me. So it makes it a lot more uh, comfortable for you to engage in that way rather than me just asking, you see, who can you refer to me? Who do you know that you could send into my office today? Yeah. I have found that to be a much more enjoyable, enjoyable experience. And, and I think you come across as more serving, right? Like who else is in pain that you'd like to alleviate and you put the referral, the, the referee in a position of like, hey, I'm helping out someone and they're getting that social currency or social, yeah. right? Uh, like, okay, I'll feel, I'll look better by actually referring someone else to Dr. Len, right? Uh, because he solved my problem and you anchored it, you pre framed the value before they ask. I think that's key. You're not, not just trying to be sales, you're, you're, you know, you're reminding them of the value and then you follow it by a stealth ask. Uh, let's uh, call it that way. You're not asking, but it's like, it yeah. sets up the ask uh, or the conclusion. It's like, why don't I re recommend them already to you? It, like, seems like the next logical thing. It's like their conclusion. You make it their conclusion, then your ask. I love that. I love that. Well, um, to your point, and in the spirit of that service type question, you, you'll find that when you ask that question in that way, you know, most people like to help other people. And so you'll find that your patient, your client, or your customer is, is excited about the opportunity to be able to help someone that they know with your product, service, solution, et cetera. I love it. And one of the things that I love about you is not just like, you know, at the tactical level, like getting the referral and that's all great and getting the sale. But if you take a step back in today's market, there's no shortage of experts, right? Everyone who read a book is now, unfortunately, can call themselves an expert. They can slap a Facebook ad together, a video show, their Ferrari, and now they're like, boom, right? Um, and so, but what I know that one of the things that you're really great at is helping your clients uh, create this expert positioning um, and helping them out with their lead follow-up and conversion um, process. So can you share a little bit, a little bit about how you uh, help uh, clients secure that expert status with prospects. How do I get perceived as the one and only guy to solve that problem? And where, you know, I don't have to do a lot of convincing. I don't have to, you know, try to give them references or try to convince them I'm different. How can you have that expert mindset implanted in the minds of the prospect before they pick up the phone and call me? So by the time I'm talking to them, I know I have that know, like, and trust already. So I, I think, you know, we're kind of coming full circle, which is great. We all started with the shopper effort where that person answering questions can communicate a lot of that 
value of the product or service and the value of the person. So what I like to do is, is take a look at a couple of things. It could be education, experience, unique products or ser- truly unique products or services, credentials, designations, uh, specialized knowledge. You know, those are all pools that somebody can tap into and take from to be able to identify to any prospect or client why they're better and why they're different. Being able to distinguish themselves using any or all of those things is the start of how you position yourself or get or earn that position of being an expert in your city, in your region, in the state, in the country, whatever it is. So I can't, it's impossible for me unless I'm talking to somebody to ask those questions, get that information and then give the specific language. But that's where somebody should start with all of those things. How can you point out different things within those categories that you know no one else or very few people have? So at the beginning of the relationship, when you can identify and secure that expert positioning with your prospect or with your new client, that's your foundation. That's your springboard right there to be able to start getting somebody to understand why they can't find anybody else that can help them like you can. I love that. Can you give me a little bit more context uh, for how you help people like accelerate, like, hey, someone picked up the phone to like they saw an ad or they heard about me and they went to my website to like actually becoming a client. Like they're aware that I solved this problem to here's my credit card. I think generally speaking, uh, most people have an instinct to try to sell their services or their solutions and paint a, a fantastic picture of what's waiting for them on the other side. And Mm -hmm. so while I, I think that's normal, uh, What I want to point out today is that if you can successfully communicate what it's going to cost someone by not taking action, I call it the consequences of inaction. When you talk about someone having a problem and you have their solution, a lot of people sell the solution. I totally get it. But when you can also point out what it's going to cost that person, time, energy, money, et cetera, by delaying that start or their purchase, whatever makes sense. That, that's a huge motivator uh, for a lot of people. They don't want to continue to experience what they're experiencing and choosing not to take action or not to fix or solve that problem. Uh, they're understanding that you're going to continue to suffer with X, Y, and Z is usually a pretty darn good motivator to help to accelerate the process of at least getting people to ask more questions, want to learn more, want to find out more about how you can help them, which then gives you the ability to take them down that short path to explain how you can help them in a way that no one else can with unique services and solutions. I love that. Because if you suddenly just present the price without pre-frame of like, what is it costing them to miss out on this? Then they're going to be so focused on the price that they're going to be too down and try to get a discount and all of that. And one of the things that you just mentioned is focus on the cost of not having your solution. So I love that. Um, is there anything else uh, you'd like to share with us uh, before we wrap up? I know, you know, uh, you know, I encourage everyone here uh, to go ahead and grab uh, the book on Amazon. And I personally want to, you know, gift uh, to the first 10 people who go out and get a uh, cup de yo-yo. Uh, I'm going to give you one-on-one a 30-minute uh, session to work on your offer. Uh, so that when you deploy the lead gen, when you deploy the client campaigns, when you deploy the referral campaigns uh, that are inside of uh, Dr. Len's book, it's easy to get people to say yes. We want to take from, you know, 100% hell no to 100% hell yes. Um, And so that will be a multiplier to all the strategies you will be finding inside of Dr. Len's book. Um, so anything else you'd like, any wisdom, uh, you'd like to leave us uh, with and where can people grab your book, uh, brother? So thank you. Yeah. You know, I don't think people realize that the biggest expense most business owners have is the money they could be making, but aren't. Boom. And so when you have the power to create demand for your products or services every day, 
that's why the subhead for my book is never go a day without leads, referrals, or sales. Again, you have the power to be able to create that demand, put those new client campaigns in place. So, uh, yeah, I want to thank you for, for giving me a chance to come on board and share. I don't have anything else to add. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy to uh, do this with you anytime you want. Brother, I appreciate you for coming on board uh, on the call here. And this has been so helpful. And I'm, and I'm diving into more strategies into the book. Uh, specifically referrals, I don't think we really do as good of a job, even like a referral program, right? So you bring up referrals and referrals. It's one thing, you know, you can do it in a way where you can ask for the referral, but also reading through the book, it got me thinking about like, what about the Dropbox kind of referral program? What about the affiliate programs that we use in the digital marketing and online marketing? how can we adapt those to other industries right that yeah. where it's not so common those kind of referral uh generation or affiliate uh generation uh campaigns so brother i appreciate you so much uh for coming on this facebook live uh i'm super impressed with your growth and you know this sky uh, is the limit for you brother um thank you congratulations on your book and again uh, guys, I think uh, uh, Len, they can grab them on Amazon. Yes. On your website, yeah. do you have a website? Do you have a link they can go to to like just go there? Yeah, they or... can go to uh, cuttheyoyo.com. Cuttheyoyo. Oh. Dash. Cuttheyoyo.com. Okay, cuttheyoyo.com. Uh, I'll leave the link in the comments. And for the first ten who claim the book, send me a private message with the receipt. And I'll be happy to get on a one-on-one -on -one, uh, 30 uh, minutes uh, offer makeover uh, session so you can get more of those leads, more of those referrals turning into sales. Uh, thank you so much, brother, and I'll talk thank to you soon. Thank you. Hey everyone, this is Dr. Len again, and I want to quickly invite you to join what my clients have found to be one of the absolute best business growth acceleration systems I have ever put out to my market domination community. And it's called the five in 10 with Dr. Len. Every business owner can use this system to generate five or more new appointments with prospects in the next 10 days. You are less than 10 days away from generating at least five new appointments with quality prospects, all without any paid advertising. Some of you are less than 10 days away from your next new client patient or customer. Some of you are just 10 days away from adding thousands of dollars to your bank account. I created the five and 10 system to help you launch a new client generation campaign that generates new business in 10 days or less. No matter where you are in your business, the five and 10 is going to help you understand the value of using no cost new client generation campaigns. So you never go a day without leads, referrals, or new clients again. So while it's fresh in your mind, stop what you're doing, head on over to www.5in10withdrlen.com. That's the number five, I-N, the number 10, with drlen.com, and join the next group launching the five in 10 new client generation campaign today. You are just five to 10 days away from at least one new patient, client, or customer.